I practiced gratitude nearly every day for two to three years, and here's what happened. This video is going to be a little bit different from others that you may find on my channel, only because I'm going to actually be sharing a little bit about my own mental health journey, specifically my experience with anxiety and depression and how a daily gratitude practice literally changed my life. If you're new around here, hey, my name is Katie. I'm a licensed professional clinical counselor who specializes in helping young adults with various types of anxiety. I've been licensed for a little over five years now in the last two years, I actually started and now own my own private practice called Cedar Rose Counseling and Wellness. About the time that I started my own practice, I also started this channel. I ultimately created this channel for you guys to hopefully help make mental health information more accessible, regardless of if therapy is in the budget or not. My own personal experiences and struggles with mental health, both from anxiety and on the depression side, really did fuel my drive to get into this field in the the first place, hopefully to help others feel understood and empowered and also for them to find freedom. I used to suffer from like mild to moderate depression, as well as generalized anxiety, intrusive thoughts, and even disordered eating. From ages like 12 to 23 were honestly such a struggle. I was tired of feeling like my mental health was completely ruling over my life. And so I decided to make one very small intentional change. Nearly every single day for two to three years, I wrote down three things that I was thankful for. Even when it was hard, even when it was the absolute last thing that I wanted to do that day, I made sure that every single day I wrote down at least one thing. And it kind of grew over time actually, which was really interesting to, to look back on. I decided to pursue gratitude at the time because one, I knew the science behind it. I was in school at the time and so I understood the process of what was going on in the brain when it comes to our neural pathways. So I knew that if I just trusted the process that in time there would be change even if it was kind of intangible, especially at the beginning. The second reason I decided to pursue gratitude was because it was fairly simple and it didn't really require me to change very much about my daily routine. So I thought it would be a simple way to implement something new without changing a whole bunch or feeling really overwhelming. I was a psychology major through my undergraduate degree. And at the time that I started this practice, I was actually a student in graduate school for clinical mental health counseling. So I definitely understood the science behind this practice, which is why I want to share it with you guys today. I think gratitude is often talked about and really proclaimed as this amazing thing, but we don't always talk about the why behind these techniques or these strategies. And if we don't know the why, then it's really hard to trust when we aren't seeing the tangible results within like a day or so when we really want to just be experiencing some relief. So understanding the science behind this practice really helped me to continue with the momentum and the motivation to stick with this particular practice, even when I really did not want to. So ultimately I decided to trust in this process and I dedicated like five to 10 minutes every single day to reflecting on the good things, the things that I was really thankful for. At the beginning of this practice, honestly, I can look through this journal and see just very simple bullet points. Some of the days only had one thing. Um, maybe it wasn't even a complete sentence and that's okay. It was just something that I was grateful for that day. And it, it really grew from there. I got to expand on it and the things that I became grateful for turned into like full on journal entries. I personally chose to do this type of reflection exercise at the end of my day, just as a kind of looking back over the day, I guess, and could kind of pick and choose like, hey, that thing really stuck out to me. I want to remember that I want to jot that down. That timing is just what kind of worked for me in my season of life at the time. Um, but ultimately, it's whatever's going to be best for you if you decide to pursue a similar gratitude practice. At the time of filming this video that you're watching now, it's been about three years or so since I have actually written down these gratitudes on any sort of regular basis. And to this day, I have not experienced another depressive episode. Yes, maybe my mood has shifted and there has been some down days or down hours or whatever it is, but overall there has not been another depressive episode like I experienced before going through this practice. And of course, there's been so many other factors 
factors going on in life so i'm not claiming gratitude to be this magical cure by any means or that you're going to experience the same lasting relief that i have but i do think it's important to note just how powerful this practice can be when you look at you know what my life was like before going through this practice kind of the grueling nature of writing these things down for two to three years and not having experienced the same type of inner turmoil that I did um, before this practice began. While I don't really write down these gratitudes daily or even regularly at all anymore, um, this is really because I don't feel the need to. All throughout the day, my brain is kind of focused on those things, focused on the good things, focused on the things that I am really grateful for or the relationships that I'm really grateful for. It's much easier for my brain to pick these things out and to, to focus on them throughout the day. And so I don't necessarily feel the need to intentionally do so because I've built up these neural pathways and I've built up these habits in my brain that allow me to do so kind of on autopilot. So all throughout the day now, it's easy for my brain to see these good things. Whereas before going through this practice, that felt nearly impossible. This is the journal that I use that is completely full to the brim with different prompts and just different things that I noticed over those two to three year time frame. Again, it started really as bullet points and it eventually led to just full on journal entries of being really thankful for what was going on in my life. This daily practice literally rewired my brain to see and appreciate all of the good in my life and in just the world around me. This is also the reason that I created my own version of a daily gratitude journal so it can help others do the same to get started with a practice like this that can be so very life-changing as it was for mine. So here are the major takeaways from engaging in this daily gratitude practice for that two to three year time frame and now being about three years removed from this practice and experiencing what I have. It became second nature to acknowledge the good in my life and to feel hopeful in the face of challenges. It also became much easier to identify when unhelpful thoughts were crossing my mind, the impact that they were having, and how I could kind of bring myself into a value-based decision to move forward and to maybe even challenge some of those unhelpful thoughts with what I know to be true. I'm also now able to give myself a whole lot of grace, forgiveness, and compassion in a way that I never was before. That goes for my current self and my past self. Yes, this definitely comes from an intentional compassion practice too, but I also think that just kind of watching myself or reflecting on my own experience of engaging with this practice even when I did not want to engage with it, helped me to build the internal trust I needed to to really trust myself and to be able to provide grace, compassion, and forgiveness. So if you have been struggling at all with anxiety or depression, I just hope that you consider a daily gratitude practice. As you now know, it has been completely life-changing for me, and I hope that it can be the same for you. If you're now wanting to start any type of gratitude practice, here are just a few tips to help you get started. Set aside a little bit of time each day to reflect on the good in your life. Start with just a few bullet points. They don't have to be even full complete sentences. They could just be a word or two and then you can build from there. Write down a few prompts that you can reflect on each day. So even if you'd rather not physically write down what you're thankful for each day, you can at least go over the prompts and acknowledge how they're impacting you each day. And if you want a little bit of assistance getting started with this or thinking of different gratitude prompts or different practices that might be beneficial to build gratitude and compassion in your own life, please do go ahead and check out my gratitude bundle. I created this specifically for you guys with my own experience in mind with how impactful it's been for me. And of course, bringing in the science of gratitude and kind of providing a little bit of information and education on it too. All of the worksheets in the gratitude bundle are completely reusable. You can print them out. You can use your iPad to engage with it. There are so many different ways to utilize this particular resource, but in it, you're going to get a daily gratitude journal, a weekly gratitude review, eight deep dive gratitude prompts, and six curated guided meditations that were written and recorded by yours truly. 
I know that it can be difficult and sometimes overwhelming to start any type of new practice. So I did my best with the gratitude bundle to just take the guesswork out of this practice and help you to really get started as quickly and easily as possible. I will leave a link for that gratitude bundle down in the description. And as always, feel free to ask questions or ask for some clarifications down in the comments. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.